Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today in another installment in my Blue State Flip series, we're going to be analyzing the state of Nevada's exit polls, trends, county maps, etc, etc, to see what Donald Trump needs to do to flip the state of Nevada so we can look at the 2016 exit polls and compare them to the 2018 exit polls in the state of Nevada. So as you can see here, the electorate was roughly about the same race-wise and... Um, in 2016, Republicans actually did a little bit better here with black voters than they do nationwide, got 12% instead of the 8 and uh, did roughly in line with the Latino vote while keeping the margins for the Democrats fairly down, which says a lot because they did get a high turnout operation in 2016. It's really hard to say they'll get higher than that up in 2020, especially if Trump has kind of E eased the waters with the, with that community since he's taken office, gaining in the polls, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And you see, you see the roughly amount the same in a skewed blue electorate. Higher percentages of minority votes going for Republicans. Twenty nine percent of non white voters instead of twenty eight percent. That's just one percent, but it does make a big jump. But the key here is uh, white voters going for Trump by just eighteen points. Uh, they went for lack salt by around 17 so it's possible it's a sampling error as well or, or something but he lost by they lost by roughly the same margin another reason we'll get into that later about the shifts in the polls for nevada also this is a little unusual here trump getting i don't think trump got 26 percent of black men while only getting two percent of black women i'm sure that that's also a sampling error down there as well but when you look at the whites no degree thing and there was again an error in the cnn polling where they counted uh, associate's degree, I believe, as the college grads or something like that. Trump actually won both groups. Um, it's possible that this one was much closer. Uh, he won white snow degree by 24 in 2018. Um, white snow degree, Laxalt won them by 32. So if that's a trend that could go in Trump's direction, uh, it's 40% of the electorate in terms of the education and race. It is the highest uh electoral group and it's possible that that's roughly what trump actually got during the election in 2016 but whites yeah, that's roughly you'd see trump probably needs to tie with white college grads in order to win as well and also run up his margins with whites without a degree um you can look at party id here uh, party id was roughly um Actually, more Republicans turned out. Again, this could be a sampling error or more people could be re independents registering as Republicans, as you can see that here. Trump did win the independent vote. The independent vote went to Sisolak, so that could be a, a factor there. Also, another thing, union household, 24% uh, there. It's roughly what you would, well, actually, uh, only 19% here. So union voters were able to turn out higher or again a sampling error or, or something like that in the exit polls they're not entirely accurate but if you want to go to something like effective trade only 43 percent takes away jobs that's not necessarily as high as it was in other states and the economy wasn't as big of an issue um there and we can get i don't believe they even pulled the asking about the the tariffs actually they did more people did say they helped than hurt that's again a good sign for donald trump um, now Hillary had a 47% favorability rating and a 51% unfavorable and, um, Donald Trump had, had a negative net 24. Now that is eased. Trump is just, I believe it said he was negative three in the net approval rating. He is improved by 20, well, actually he's improved by 17 points. That's a pretty good, pretty good news going on there as well. So apparently all the people talking about Trump not being able to serve and stuff like that again their attacks could have could be relatively eased but when it comes down to the condition of the national economy 38 percent said it was good when it comes down to the economy here 65 percent say it's good now the economy may not have been as big of an issue here as let's say maybe immigration or something like that but it is still a big issue everywhere you go people do care about their their finances and stuff like that so um, it's really gonna, gonna come down to, um, turnout is a one thing. We'll get to the map in a second here, but as you look at the view of Trump as president, for only 42% strongly disapprove, 9% Trump curious, 49 per, 48, 49% approve. Um, that's pretty good news. He can probably win with 48% of the vote, so it's not like he should write off Nevada. Um, 
rural area 15% of the vote here, and rural area 14, so roughly about the same level of turnout, which could also explain why Republicans did almost as good. Um, I'm not going to, I'm going to look more towards the governor election in the state of Nevada here uh, for this. Now, because, because Heller was not that popular, and Heller did get more raw votes than he got in 2012. There's also a unusual thing about Nevada, a none of these candidates option as well. So that, that could be complicating things for both parties when it's all said and done. But in 2016, if you look at the vote for in a two-way race, it was roughly, it, roughly a statistical tie. Uh, I feel like a lot of the Johnson voters could come over, come aboard to Donald Trump. I think a lot of Gary Johnson voters are going to vote for Trump in 2020. I get people in my comment section all the time. Uh, and when it comes down to this, Republicans only lost by four, it, d despite it being a D plus nine national environment. Republicans lost by two and a half in 2016. And it's possible that Trump should go after the state in 2020. Here's the deal. Now, this Washoe County, this is a county that Trump lost very narrowly. He lost it by just 3,000 votes. This is where Reno is, casinos. He needs to go to Reno, fill up an arena in Reno, uh, drive up that, you know, casino enthusiasm in Nevada because he, he is a casino man. He's, he's run, he's ran casinos. And this is a county that was actually, eh, just about the same, uh, level for Loxalt. And Trump will probably outperform. Uh, well, let's let's look at let's look at Elko County. It was roughly about on the same margin, but when it comes to the, down to some of these counties, like Nye County, Black Salt won sixty three to twenty six. Trump won that sixty eight to twenty six. So he needs to drum up enthusiasm in the rural areas if he wants to win the state of Nevada. It's very possible that that could alone get him the victory. Carson City, look at this one. He did win this more urban area by twenty four. That's the state capital, which says a lot because there's a lot of gov government workers there. Now, Carson City was much narrower, only went, I believe, 13 points instead of, actually, it was roughly, roughly the same amount. Um, but the big deal here is Clark County. This is the population center. It is a county of over 1 million people. Hillary won this county by 82,000 votes, and she only won the state of Nevada by what is this, 27, 28,000? So Trump needs to drum up enthusiasm in the suburbs. Talk about the economy. This could help. And then you can see here that Clark County went to Sisolak by around 90,000 votes, and he won the state by 40,000. So Donald Trump needs to campaign in Las Vegas. If you want to win Nevada, it's very possible he can do it. He just needs to run up the rural margins, flip Reno, and do a, just a slightly little bit better in this county here. If he can keep the margins up high in the rest of the state as he did in 2016, maybe improve on them a little bit. He'll make up a couple thousand votes there alone. If he can make up these 3,000 here, okay, he's at 20,000. He needs to do better in Clark County. Aim for 43, 44%. It's possible he's going to have to work hard for it, do rallies there, because he turns out 20,000 every rally. And, you know, doing that a few times, I can get 60,000 people to, to come up. I mean, sure, there's overlap in, in the sampling of who goes to the rally, but it's very possible that Donald Trump could flip this state. It's not necessarily out of the, out of the ballpark as well. The Republicans did fairly well in 20, in 2018 compared to, to 2016 and compared to the rest of the states in 2018. So definitely this is not a state Trump should write off. It's very possible it flips. It did technically did trend red since 2012 and 2008. And if Trump can also convert a few Hispanic voters, he's already got a good little Hispanic outreach group going and to get Trump, his Trump, Hispanic Trump supporters out there, get them to vote and stuff like that. So at the end of the day, Nevada very well could flip. And if he maintains all of his other states, he will win by a margin of 312 to 226. So uh, it's, it's a state he should really work hard on because I really do think he can win it. And alright guys, thanks for watching. Please like this video, subscribe to get me to 6,000, and hit the bell for notifications so you never miss another video. Follow me on social media and donate to my Patreon links in description. And before you go, be sure to click on the screen for one of my other recent videos you may have missed. And thanks again for watching guys. Red Eagle, out.